Hello, here we have some novel demonstrations of gyroscopes reacting with linear and angular momentum. All of these experiments use a form of angular momentum, either a gyroscope or a flywheel. These we will interact with two outside forces, linear momentum and angular momentum. Linear momentum, mass times velocity, is where mass travels in a straight line. Suspended from one end, this gravitational force is curved, creating angular momentum. Mass times velocity times radius from the pivot. These forces, although similar, have very different reactions on gyroscopes. Angular momentum, remove the pivot. Linear momentum. The second demonstration uses a gyroscope mounted in a horizontal pivot on a model railway truck. Travelling down the gradient of a straight track, this slow motion shows that the gyroscope is unaffected. Travelling down the straight track, linear momentum doesn't seem to cause a reaction in the gyroscope. Repeat this with a curved track we now have angular momentum acting on the gyro. This wonderful old demonstration kit is a flywheel mounted on a beam. This can pivot vertically, allowing it to turn, and horizontally. The sliding weight allowing it to act like a balance beam. Spin the flywheel, giving it angular momentum. Now the weight no longer seems to follow gravity, it turns in an arc around the central pillar. This rotational path is generally known as precession. If you prevent the arm from rotating, gravity once again takes over and the weight drops. From these experiments, it would seem that gyroscopes change orientation under the influence of angular momentum, but not linear momentum. The obvious culprit must be R, the radius value of the equation which is present in both the flywheel and the influencing force. For an intuitive explanation of how these forces of angular momentum interact, please follow the link. Thank you for watching.